Hello, this is Professor Helen Zanthaki. I'm the um, Director of Postgraduate Laws and also the Chief Examiner of Legislation and Statutory Interpretation. So welcome to Legislation and Statutory Interpretation. The topic of these four modules is legislation in the sense of statutory law. In other words, written texts of binding legal value that dictate the current state of regulation imposed by government. In the past, legislation used to be a prerogative of civil law jurisdictions. However, it is now at the forefront of sources of law, both in civil and common law jurisdictions. Its increasing popularity as a source of law has created issues with the extensive volume of legislation and also with the interrelation between legislative texts within the national jurisdiction, but also within the regional and international jurisdictions to which the country belongs. The complexity of levels of legislation, combined with the volume of legislation in each of those three levels, strengthened the beast of legislative complexity that was observed even in the beginnings of legislation. There is a realization worldwide that legislation in its current form cannot be trusted to inform citizens what they need to do. It is simply too complex a method to speak to citizens. This is unfortunate. At our era of direct information, when citizens are used to search the internet for direct answers rather than rely on professionals as before, citizens are searching for answers from within the legislative texts. For example, legislation.gov.uk report that 65% of the users of legislation on their website are laypersons, namely citizens without any legal awareness who are looking to find answers to their individual questions and individual problems. And so legislation needs to become the focus of governments, the focus of lawyers, and of course the focus of legal education. It is imperative that current and future practitioners become aware of what is legislation, what is its role and aims, and how to best pursue them. The next set of four modules have been prepared by a team of experts, mainly at the Institute of Advanced Legal Studies of the School of Advanced Study of the University of London, whose expertise lies with legislative studies. Our aim is to educate, inform, and share our enthusiasm of legislative studies as a new subdiscipline of law, one that deserves recognition, study, and cross-fertilization within and outside legal disciplines. What are the educational aims of the modules? By the end of your study, you should be able to obtain a systematic understanding of knowledge of the field of legislative studies in the wide interdisciplinary concept at the national, regional and international levels. To acquire critical awareness of current political, legal and legislative problems in the conceptualization, formation and passing of legislation and legally binding texts. To acquire critical understanding of current and innovative techniques of modern legislative studies to show originality in the application of that knowledge and to demonstrate the ability to apply your readings to your own jurisdiction. How do you get there? In other words, how do you prepare for exams? Well, first you start with a guide. Have a read through it all to try and gain a general understanding of the topics and their main points. When you have finished the first reading, go back to the guide and study for each chapter separately. Begin with the guide, then read the essential reading and try to do the self-assessment tasks. Then read the additional reading and attempt the examination questions at the end of each chapter. Having completed the whole chapter, go back to examination questions and see whether your answers could be enhanced by virtue of your knowledge now. Having completed all four modules, go back to the examination questions and try to see how the modules cross-fertilize each other. 
please do not leave out any part of the guide or any of the essential reading. Examination questions will require an understanding of the whole material. When preparing for your exams, please keep in mind that we're not seeking to test your factual knowledge. We're seeking to invite you to consider and comment on general issues on legislation, such as, for example, what is legislative quality? We need you to show us that you have read the whole material and that you have understood the issue on the basis of the whole guide, not just one chapter. Finally, do apply what you read to your own jurisdiction. We expect you to know what is happening in your country and to assess if and how our teachings can be applied there. We wish you all the very best with this topic. It is innovative, it is dynamic, and it is being developed as we speak. What a privilege to share it with you.